Welcome to Ms. Pomelo three-step checklist on how to establish the perfect fit for your bra. I'm Ilona, this is our model Karina, Hi. and today we'll walk you through these three steps. So step one is the band. The band is by far the most important part of the bra support because it provides about 80% of the support. First of all, make sure that the band stays parallel to the cups at the front as Karina is showing. Another one is it should fit firm but snug and comfortable enough for you to be able to run two fingers from the back towards the underarm like Karina is doing right now. If the band is too loose, it will ride out. Make sure it doesn't happen. Step number two is the straps. The straps provide about 20% of the support of the bra. If Karina turns around, I'll show you. Every single strap has an adjuster. You see, you can regulate it by making it looser or tighter. For example, if I ride up the adjuster, it will make the strap tighter. If I bring this down, it will make the strap looser, just like this. So to test the straps, you should be able to run two fingers alongside the strap to test whether it's too tight or too loose. It shouldn't be loose so it comes off. It shouldn't be too tight so it leaves the marks on your body. Remember, 20% of the support comes from the straps. Step three is the cups. The most important part of the cups is the underwires. So first, check the positioning of the underwires. The underwires should sit firmly against the chest, right where the flesh of the breast finishes. So you see, Karina is showing it essentially works as a cradle for your breast. Now check the side of uh, the side of the bra so it doesn't interfere with the underarms. It shouldn't be too tall, and also that the center is not being pulled away from the body. So you see with Karina, it fits really snugly like a cradle for the breast flash. Another important part with the cups is the flash should fill the cup 100%. It shouldn't be too loose so you don't have any gaps between yourself and the cup and also should not be tight. So you feel like you're overflowing at the top or at the sides or at the bottom perhaps. Another thing we wanted to teach you is the seesaw rule. Sometimes you feel very comfortable in the cups, but the band is tight. Well, sometimes you feel that the band is loose. So if you feel comfortable in the cups, but the band is tight, you should go up the band size. In the example of Karina, she's 30E. If she goes up the band size, then the cup size should drop one letter down. So you go from 30E to 32 double D. The rule works the other way as well. So if her 30E was very loose, she could tighten it by going into 28F. So this works both ways and is known as a seesaw rule. Up on the cup, down on the band, up on the band, down on the cup. So how does it all fit together? You're probably the best judge of the comfort of your bra. So whenever you try a new one on, Strike a few poses, test drive the fit. Try to imagine you're doing the typical activities you're doing throughout the day to see how this works. You know, maybe you're reaching out for groceries in the grocery store, maybe you're running a chore in the house, maybe you're going for a walk or for a run. You're really the best judge of the comfort of your bra. So if it looks good, it makes you feel good, it is comfortable, then it is good. Thank you for listening for our three steps for the perfect fit. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye.